Networking is critical in today's computing. Networking commands are valuable tools for surfing the internet, server administration, and connection troubleshooting. The top 10 networking commands you should be aware of are discussed in this video. All are simple yet powerful, which saves you time in troubleshooting. We will go over the commands for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS platforms, their theoretical use, and real-world applications. By the end, you will have an effective toolkit to tackle most issues. Let's begin. The ping command is the most powerful and easiest of network utilities. It verifies whether a device is able to communicate with another device that is part of the same network. It sends small packets known as ICMP echo requests to a destination server and waits for the server to respond. If the server is responding, then everything is fine, and there is an internet connection established. To execute it on Windows, Linux, or OS X, you just open a terminal or command prompt and type ping google.com, which then pings Google server and indicates how quickly the data traveled the round trip in milliseconds. This makes ping such a superb first-level troubleshooting tool. If we have reason to believe that a machine or website is down, this test will reveal whether the problem lies with connectivity, name resolution, or otherwise. The traceERT command on Windows or traceroute on Linux and Mac OS is a handy tool for checking the exact path your packets take to reach a destination. Think of it like a roadmap for your internet traffic. When you run something like traceroutgoogle.com on Windows or traceroutgoogle.com on Linux or Mac OS, your computer pings each router along the way and shows you a list of every hop it takes to get to the final host. You'll see the IP addresses of those routers, plus the response time at each step. Why is this useful? Well, sometimes you can ping a website, but you're still dealing with slow speeds or random timeouts. That's where Traceroute shines. It helps pinpoint where the problem is happening. Is the slowdown inside your ISP's network, or is it further downstream? closer to the destination server. With Traceroute, you can see exactly where the connection is breaking down, so you know where to focus your troubleshooting. On Windows, the command is ipconfig. On Linux and Mac OS, it's ifconfig. Both do the same thing. They show your computer's network settings. With one quick command, you'll see your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS servers. On Windows, adding forward slash all to ipconfig gives you even more details, like your DHCP information and physical MAC address. These commands are your go-to whenever you need to confirm your IP, check if your device grabbed an address from DHCP, or troubleshoot a connection issue. Next up, DNS tools. On Windows, you've got NSLOOKUP. On Linux and Mac OS, you'll often use DIG. Both let you check what IP address is behind a domain name, or even the reverse. For example, running nslookupgoogle.com or diggoogle.com will return the IP address of Google servers. These commands are lifesavers when you're facing DNS problems. If a site won't load but you can still ping its IP, use nslookup or dig, which will tell you if DNS resolution is failing. Here's a bonus. Dig also shows query time and which name servers gave the answer. The netstack command is like pulling back the curtain on your system's network activity. It shows active connections, listening ports, routing tables, and even interface stats. Type netstat on its own and you'll see all current connections. Add flags for more details. Netstat hyphen A shows all listening ports. Netstat hyphen N shows raw IP addresses instead of host names. This command is gold for spotting what apps are talking to the internet, or even hunting down suspicious traffic. Security pros love it, but it's just as handy for everyday troubleshooting. ARP, or ARP, is all about address resolution protocol the part of networking that links IP addresses to MAC addresses. Running ARP-A on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS 
shows you the current ARP cache, which is basically a table of all known IP to MAC mappings on your local network. This is super helpful for diagnosing issues like a device being physically connected but not behaving, or even detecting spoofing attacks where rogue devices pretend to be legitimate ones. The route command lets you peek into and even edit your computer's routing table. That's the roadmap your system uses to decide where to send traffic. On Windows, try route print. On Linux or Mac OS, route hyphen n shows it in numeric form. Advanced users can add or delete routes to control exactly how traffic flows, which comes in handy for VPNs, multi-network setups, or custom gateways. Both curl and wget are tools for pulling data straight from URLs. Here's an example. curl http colon forward slash forward slash example dot com fetches the contents of a web page right in your terminal. wget http example dot com forward slash file dot zip downloads a file directly to your system. These are especially useful for quickly checking if a website or API endpoint is reachable without needing a browser. Developers use curl constantly to test APIs, while wget shines at automating downloads. SSH, or Secure Shell, is the secure way to log in and run commands on another machine remotely. On Linux and Mac OS, you type something like ssh user at hostname. Windows now supports SSH through PowerShell too. Unlike the old Telnet command, SSH encrypts all traffic. That makes it essential for server admins, developers, and anyone managing systems remotely. It's the backbone of secure remote access. Finally, Telnet and NC, short for Netcat. Both are used to test connectivity to a specific host and port. TelnetExample.com 80 checks if port 80 is open. NC hyphen ZV example.com 80 does the same thing on Linux and Mac OS. They're especially handy when you need to know if a firewall is blocking access or if a service is listening. Telnet is older and insecure, but still useful for quick tests. Netcat, on the other hand, is more versatile. It can do everything from port scanning to file transfers, making it the preferred modern option. Now let's summarize the top 10 networking commands. We began with the default tool for varying connectivity, ping. We followed with traceroute or traceroute, which traces packets to the destination. We mentioned ipconfig or ifconfig to verify your PC IP configuration, followed by nslookup or dig to verify DNS resolution. We used the netstat command to see what connections were open and ARP to discover IP addresses that correspond to MAC addresses. You can see and modify routing tables with route and download URL information with curl and wget. SSH is a remote login and lastly, telnet or netcat to test ports. Having these fundamentals under your belt will make network administration and troubleshooting a lot easier. And that's it. The top 10 networking commands every IT pro should know from checking connectivity with ping to securely managing servers with SSH. You now have a powerful toolkit for troubleshooting and understanding networks. If this video helps simplify things for you, do us a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to Knowledge Catch for more clear beginner-friendly tech breakdowns, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video in this series. Got a favorite command you use all the time, or maybe a troubleshooting story where one of these saved the day? Drop it in the comments, we'd love to hear it. Until next time, keep learning, keep experimenting, and we'll catch you in the next one.